In this video, I'm going to outline my 2021 investment strategy. Happy New Year, guys. My name is Michael. I'm an accountant from Australia. And on this channel, we talk about money and finances so that we can all live more fulfilled lives together. Now, in this video, as I mentioned, we're going to be going over my 2021 investment strategy and the different levels of investment and speculation that I've got. I think it's going to be really interesting to look back at this video in 12 months, 5 years, 10 years time to see what I'm talking about, to see where my resources are allocated um, and see what changes over time. So I think a really good place to start will be going over the three different levels of investments. The first level is simply just saving cash. Second level is investing for the long term. And third level is speculating or stock picking. So the first level that we're gonna be talking about is cash saving. So I currently have just under a year's worth of my salary in savings. Now, 12 months is a little bit excessive, but it gives me peace of mind and stability. I definitely recommend a minimum of three months worth of your income or expenses saved in cash. So for example, if your income is $4,000 per month, I'd recommend having at least three months worth of savings, so $12,000 in savings. This just gives you a bit of stability in case you lose your job, um, and it's just good for your peace of mind having a cash buffer. And it's really important to note that you need these cash buffers before you go out and invest, because investing has a little bit of inherent risk. You could lose this money, so it's important to have this buffer for your peace of mind and stability. Uh, this will also help your emotions when it comes to investing. Because this cash is solid, it's stable, Yes, you're not making a lot of money on it at the moment. It's less than 1% in Australia um, interest, but it gives you that peace of mind. Now, keep in mind, I'm also gonna be uh, moving about $10,000 worth of my cash savings into the speculations to start my stock picking portfolio, but we're gonna go over that later in the video. I'm currently saving about a third of my income. Every month, I transfer approximately a third of my income into my long-term savings account. I also have a strategy to increase this amount every quarter or every three months. So every three months, I increase my savings amount by 10%. So for example, if, if I was currently saving $1,000 per month, I'll save that for January, February, and March. And then in April, I'll increase that amount to $1,100. So that's that 10% increase. And that will stay there for April, May, and June. And then in July, I'll increase it by 10% again, so 1,210. Now, this is a technique that I learned from one of my mentors, Dr. John Demartini, and he calls it the force accelerated savings technique. And it's this idea of forcing your, your savings up by 10% every quarter to make yourself more financially abundant, to take you to that next financial level. If you didn't force yourself to increase your savings, you'll just be plateauing at the same amount every month and you won't be growing financially, you won't be growing as a person, you won't find new opportunities. But by increasing your savings amount, you tell yourself that you're worth more and you'll find new opportunities, you'll come up with creative ways to make income or save on expenses. There's all these amazing stories of people who think they can't afford to save money but when they just force themselves to do it, they find a way. And you look back in 10 years time and you're in a much better position than you would have been if you hadn't done it. So if you don't automatically save every month, automate your savings and also accelerate them every three months. And before we go on to investing, it's so important you have these cash buffers saved so that you can prove to yourself that you're worthy of investing, you're worthy of more significant returns. This brings me to the second level of investing long-term investing, or you can call it the timeless investment strategy. Now, this strategy can be summarized in just nine simple words. Buy the market monthly via low-cost index funds. Buy means that we're bullish the market. We believe that the human race is gonna create better businesses, create better products, bring more value to the wider world, and in exchange, bring those returns back to shareholders. The market. We just wanna buy the economy as a whole. It has average returns between seven and 10% per annum since like the 1900s. This is all about time diversification. We don't wanna be stuck trying to pick the right time when the market dips or anything like that. We just wanna get our money in the market. As Benjamin Graham says, time in the market beats timing the market. And lastly, we have low cost index funds. This is either through an exchange traded fund or a mutual fund that just tracks the market and allows us to do so with fees less than 1% of our portfolio. Low fees are also very important as fees erode wealth. Um, there's a whole bunch of studies that have been done showing that fees more than 1% can greatly impact um, our long-term wealth. So we definitely want low cost options here. The timeless investment strategy is super simple to set up and automate. Once you have your brokerage set up, 
every single month I've just set it up so that my money gets transferred automatically on the first of the month and it buys these funds on my behalf automatically. I don't even have to touch it but every month when I log in to check the reports it's so nice watching it grow steadily and steadily. I believe this investment strategy is mandatory for every single human being. Yes, in Australia here we have superannuation, which is forced savings so we can fund our own retirements. But I also believe you should do this investment strategy outside of your superannuation so that you have access to it whenever you want. Although I don't ever plan on touching this account, there's something different about you actually owning it, being able to access it whenever, compared to superannuation where you can't touch it until you're 65 or retired. We're targeting about 7 to 10% per annum returns. This is what the market has given us for the last hundred odd years and I don't expect it to be any different going forwards. There will be some years that are less than this, there will be some years that are more, but over the long term, 7 to 10% is our expectation. And the third and final level of investment is our speculations or stock picking in my case. So I haven't actually actively chosen any stocks before, so this year will be the first time that I'm doing some stock picking. I will do a video on this breaking down my thoughts and analysis on the companies that I choose. Um, however, just in the meantime, this part of the portfolio I'll be targeting about 15% return. I'm not expecting 50-100% crazy returns like Tesla or Afterpay or anything like that. My goal for this part is just to get a little bit more actively involved in the market and try my hand at doing some stock picking. It's also important to make sure that you have the timeless investment strategy in place first before you go and do any stock picking. Stock picking is a lot more risky than just buying the market, so that, that's why I've waited a little bit until I have my cash buffers and investments in place, so now I can go and speculate. You might have noticed throughout this video that I haven't mentioned Bitcoins or cryptocurrencies anywhere um, because they don't have a place in my portfolio right now. My opinion may change in the future, but I, I think that Bitcoin's just a little bit overhyped. Yes, the blockchain technology behind cryptocurrencies has some potential, but I believe that the whole Bitcoin hype is just overinflated, so um, that's why I don't have any holdings in any cryptos. I'm also looking forward to doing some real estate investing in the next couple of years. Um, I want to first focus on increasing my income before I go ahead and do that, and just in case there's some vacancy or the market crashes. Thanks for watching, guys. Please leave a comment below if you disagree with any of my opinions. I'd love to have a friendly debate in the comments. Um, I'll reply to everyone's comments. Please also subscribe. I've got lots of content coming out. I'm going to be uploading two videos per week, so stay tuned for that.